Hey guys, I'm not outside just yet. I was playing around. I set up my solar light um, just temporarily in here for the accountant as well as you already saw this one. So he's got all kinds of solar power light in here now, all LED. Hopefully on dark days that will help him. Um, but yeah, that's just temporary for now. I'll probably rig it up so it runs across the the two by fours or something. That way I have solar closet lighting. Uh, I just have the um, solar light tipped upside down, believe it or not. There we go. Okay. And yeah, I'll rig something up here for for that but for now I think he'll be okay um, I'm gonna go outside before it starts raining right now and uh, show you guys exactly um, what's going on with the window out there I'm gonna actually jump out of the trailer I don't think I've ever done it on cam so I'll do that for once jump out and uh, then grab you and take you with me. Whoa. Alrighty. So, there's the storm coming. Here's the new window. So what we did was on the J-Track, guys. Whoops. Here's the J-Track. That runs all the way around the entire window. I put one inch screws in every single hole plus some extras in the corners to help hold it down. And then up there, um, and also then taped over it with three inch wide aluminum tape. Um, there is the deflector. Uh, I didn't build this one this time, it was my dad. Uh, he, he was doing that while I was cleaning up from the install and putting this window in alone would have been pretty much brutal. I had help and it was still brutal. I don't know why this one was so difficult. Um, must be just because of the awkward nature because I put these in by myself in no time, guys. I think I put, actually, I think I put both of these in the same day by myself, no help and made deflectors so figure that one out this one was a nightmare but it's in it looks good it's doing everything that I want and to have air conditioning this top piece will actually slide out on an angle so I can get my three inches here or uh, not three inches but 13 inches for the height of a window air conditioner. And the width is perfect, no no issues there. So they got one thing right. All right, so it's gonna start raining, but I'm gonna go back into the tiny house because I'm, I'm gonna play around. I have some um, bedding or uh, sheets that I may put on this bed right now. So let me go do that. <laughs> some sheets left over now I think the sheets that I have were the queen size but since they're queen I can um, oh shit hold on gotta turn the camera a bit yeah since they're queen guys I think I can tuck them underneath the mattress and then they'll be held down pretty well. So here's some white sheeting. This might work perfect. I'm glad I don't throw anything out unless it's pretty much obviously useless to me. I don't know why would someone would throw sheets out though, unless you can't clean them. What the hell? Oh, wait a minute. I 
don't think I'm... quite right here. What kind of sheet is this? Okay, forget that one. I have this brown one that I think was off of the air mattress. And then I have a bunch of pillow mattresses or something. This one's kind of wacko too. What the hell? Hmm. What the shit? Kind of set up to set. Yeah, this has got to be a queen because it's massive, I think. Oh shit. Yeah, it tucks under there quite a long ways. Not sure about this extra fabric what the hell it's doing, but whatever. Okay, that's not too, too bad. Perfect. That's not bad. Um, yeah, I'm, I hate when your sheets come out from underneath the bed and you got to keep tucking them in. So that's a bonus. And actually, now I have a place for my freaking pillows and stuff. Of course, they need a good cleaning. I don't know which way I would sleep. I'd probably sleep not facing the fireplace or hard to say here I'll put them here for now at least I got a place for my pillows and stuff now And then this can go up against the wall, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. You guys see this? Yeah, there you go. And then I can throw these blankets on here. Perfect. Now, obviously, stuff like this big I'll need to take to the laundry mat or to my parents' house to watch, wash, but there we go. So that's some sheeting, bedding in there. And then once I get the, um, once I get these, this thing framed in, trimmed in and this piece came out because I was just in the way um, once I trim that all in that'll look a hell of a lot better then I'll have to figure out where my hanger is gonna go that might go right here next to the window something like that but uh, I can actually no I'll leave that stuff over there because I still got to trim and do work here so not too bad guys so here's i'll walk back to the bathroom area 
And there's the bed. I have plenty of room to have a walkway in front of the kitchen. I have the heat source pretty close to the bed. And then this way, guys, I'm thinking if I set the remote to maybe about where my head is going to be, like just on this side of the battery box, it'll keep this area nice and toasty for me in the winter time and won't cycle as much because I'm closer to the unit. Well, I hope so anyway. And then also in the summertime, I'm close to the new window. So I'm going to have lots of airflow from back there and the new window, of course. So the air is just going to flow around me there. And then I'll have to set up a herb garden, indoor herb garden across here in front of this window eventually. And uh, bring all my plants over and stuff. But uh, yeah, 77 inside today guys for the Americans hot well it's hot with the humidity let me go back and check the humidity it's probably what's it at now yeah 78 percent humidity outside 57 in though so not it's the, the tiny house is holding its own I think but still I would have to run my little USB fans in here which hardly take any juice so that's not going to be an issue. So, everything's looking good so far, guys. And, uh, yeah. That'll be just perfect. I think I, I like the idea. Um, Stu recommended that as well. Uh, I forgot to mention that. He, he talked to me about it quite a while ago. Um, and then eventually I had to... Well, I thought it was a pretty good and neat idea too, but I just didn't get around to it until, you know, just recently here, trying to get everything up and going in here. But, uh, yeah, I think the tiny house is going to work out pretty nice. And um, since my bed's here, I can turn this wooden platform sideways, mount my TV on it, watch and game from the bed, or... Yeah, I can do that. And then I can have, in between the bed and the table, I can have my gaming chair for when I'm gaming, so I'm closer to the TV. And then at night, I can just move the gaming chair out of the way, sit in bed and watch TV. So that's probably going to be pretty good. And then I got all that space over there, guys, still. Like, <laughs> unbelievable amount of room in here. So I got all this space. Like, this is just garbage. I'm going to probably keep this cardboard because it's a good trash trash thing. But um, I'm going to have Mike's aquaponics thing hooked up as well, hopefully, once I get the solar going. Then I can be growing food off of that. And then I'll still have to do some um, gas fittings or something uh, for drying clothes. But we'll figure it out. Lots of work still to go, guys. But I think the tiny house has come a long way. And um, I want to thank everybody for watching. So that's it for now.